Heather. Welcome to my channel or welcome if you're new. So I get a lot of questions about my hair. I have bleached blonde hair and I get a lot of questions about like hair care. And I didn't really think I had a hair care routine until I really started getting into it because my hair is kind of damaged. But today I am going to be sharing with you guys my hair care routine and there's actually a lot of products that go into this routine. And I also have a blog post on this, so you guys can go check it out. It'll be up the time this is up. If you want more detail and links to all the products I use, you can go click on my blog and you can see all that. But without further ado, I'm just gonna go ahead and start with the video. So to start off this video, the main portion of this, I feel like the main thing you think of when you think of hair care is obviously the shampoo. But basically, I use very simple drugstore shampoo. There's nothing that fancy to it. This has helped my hair to be healthier, I guess. So this is what I use. For shampoo, I use the L'Oreal Paris Advanced Hair Care Extraordinary Oil Nourishing Shampoo. It has just the right amount of oils in it so that my hair is not completely oily because I am somebody who has like silky sleek hair that gets really oily like on the crown. This is the L'Oreal Total Repair Conditioner. It has five different things that it does. It helps with strength, vitality, shine, silkiness, and rebuilds fibers. And the best thing about this is it is made for damaged, overworked hair, which is basically what we're working with here. But the thing about the conditioner is though, you have to only put this on your ends. I don't put any conditioner like on the top of my scalp. And I also use purple shampoo. I know this is random. I use a lot of different shampoos, but this other one is the Joy Co and this color under a violet or violet under color and basically My hair since it's like kind of white it can get like kind of brassy sometimes So if I'm having any brassy tones, I usually use this like one to two times a week now after I get out of the shower I use Moroccan oil and here's just like a little random bottle of it And I use the daily beauty satin finish treatment and it's basically just like Moroccan oil and I I like to put this on my ends. Don't put any product on your scalp. That's my one thing because if you have greasy, oily hair like me, you know, don't put it on your scalp because it's gonna be a bad day. So just like, don't put that on your scalp. Now for the blow drying, I've been using the same like blow dryer for literally the longest time and it is the Conair 1875 Styler and I really like it. It has these little attachments on it that I don't have right here. Basically, it can like brush your hair while you're like, I guess, drying it. And I really like it because it's pretty convenient and it gets the job done. It has two settings on it. It just has a low and a high and then you can do like the cool right here. And then I like to use this Seaberry Hair Serum and it's great because it just smooths my hair down. So I use this after I blow dry my hair and I have it like all sticking up right here like little flyaways. I like to use this because it can like kind of like grease it down but like it's not greasy you know. And I only wash my hair about every other day because I know my hair would be super dried out if I washed it every day and it would probably be super greasy. And fun fact if you wash your hair every Every single day it makes it more greasy so that's just like a little pro tip from me but if my hair is greasy and usually on the second day like the day after I wash it I'll put this stuff in it is the Batiste I guess that's how you pronounce it dry shampoo and here are the different ones I use they're just like different flavors this one's blush this one's original and if you're traveling I have this clean freak refreshing dry shampoo and I think it's very nice it's not your mother's and I get a lot of questions about what curling iron I use or little wand or whatever and I use the Conair U curl and it goes up to 400 degrees. I always have it on the 400 degrees setting. I know that's probably terrible for your hair but since my hair is so thick that it just won't curl. I know it's like weird but my hair is really hard to curl and the curls usually don't stand that long so I like to get it on the highest setting and then I like to just stick it in place with the Not Your Mother's She's a Tease Voluminizing Hairspray. One thing about hairspray that I hate is it makes your hair really like weirdly textured especially after you curl it so I like this because it doesn't make my hair too weirdly I guess textured and like it doesn't completely grease down your hair or make it really tough to work with if you know what I mean and then if I am going to be straightening my hair I use the Chi Air and this is really good to invest in I know it's a little bit more expensive but it definitely gets the job done and it straightens my hair and I usually wash my hair at night so I usually do this the next morning because my hair is a little wavy after I like sleep on it you know and another product I like to use sometimes is Olaplex I don't have it here with me because I've only used it a couple times 
from my friends and stuff but it's a great product if you have damaged hair and if you're just bleaching your hair I highly highly suggest it so those are all the products I use I know it's a lot but you know it's really difficult to do my hair since it is very blonde and there's definitely a lot of treatment that goes into it and I posted a vlog on my vlog channel about me getting my hair done and getting it like cut short and dyed and all that stuff and I honestly love it so much I think it looks so cute for like the springtime coming up and like spring break I can't wait to take pictures in it because I only have like a couple pictures with this hairstyle I guess I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to go check out my blog post because I went all in depth with all the products once again and you can actually see me like write about it and you can go click on the links to find the products and stuff so I'll link the blog post down below make sure you like the video and subscribe and comment down below if you guys want me to do a how I curl my hair or how I do my hair for like springtime or how I curl my hair for summer or beach waves or whatever you want to see from me and I will see you guys in my next video thanks bye